Hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, um, happy Monday, happy Monday, it's December 27th, but Merry Christmas to you guys, okay, because I didn't actually post a video on 25th, so Merry Christmas to all of you. I woke up with a cold so I don't know, I feel like, it's not like I feel like, I've had cold sores three times this year, if you remember, like, if you, I don't know, I think you guys will remember. But I've had cold sores three times this year and it literally doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but if you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Akusia, Akusia Benghine. Um, if you're a 10 subscriber, hey boo, I love you. Thank you so much for always coming back. What do you do? I feel like my hands are actually, let me put on a moisturizer because, wow. <laughs> Okay, so that's better. <laughs> I am also in the process of taking off my nails, the acrylic that I did. I feel like I've had this set on for only a week. Um, but I have new sets from Kiss, so I want to be able to do this. But um, today you guys are going to be doing my um, decluttering with me. I think I mentioned that in a previous vlog that I wanted to declutter and I haven't come around to doing that. So today I'm going to be doing that. And also another thing that I really want to do um, with you is take stock of my life. I think I've mentioned it also before. If I haven't, don't quote me on that. But if I haven't, I really want to take stock of my life because the year ends in three days. In three days, wait. Today's 27, 28, 29th, 30th, 31st. Four days, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I really want to take stock of my life. Just really quickly. Okay, so in this part, I mean, before I get into my decluttering, I'm going to be taking stock of my life with you guys. So if you're interested, please watch this part. But if you want to watch the decluttering part, I what I do with my videos now is I put timestamps so you can literally check down below. I mean, more down below. You can check um, the play thingy, the play thingy, and then it will show you like decluttering stock <laughs> you will see you know what i'm talking about so yeah if you're not interested in this part skip to the next part but if you're interested in um also taking stock of your life you know just basically the year in retrospect is what i'm trying to do you know my what i've been able to achieve like moving forward what i want to change also some new maybe not so new but just a couple of new changes that i want to bring onto the channel and so i really want to share that with you guys and also i feel like i have some new year resolutions obviously there's some resolutions that you keep to yourself that are private but these are resolutions that i definitely want to share with you guys so yeah so basically you look at your life over the past year um i'm going to look at my life over the past year which will be 2021 for me how the year has gone by um if it's been good and yada yada so um i have like a few i, I have a questionnaire here that i'm going to go by so it says um what did you achieve so what i achieved this year when it comes to my achievements in honesty, oh, I've achieved so many things that I, <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even like gonna talk about. But if you're here, you have seen growth, and that alone to me is an achievement. In all honesty, and also plus, I really wanted to be um, conscious with my health, my diet, um, just like my general health, and I have really been on top of that not gonna lie like it's december 27th and i'm still working out this morning i woke up at five did my workout and then i'm like that's exactly what i'm talking about like old me it's holiday i'm gonna be in bed you know but right now i feel like i'm in a different state of mind i'm very conscious and i'm happy that i'm doing this at 26 you know i'm happy that i didn't wait to be 30 not like 30 or anything but i'm happy that i didn't wait to be like at an older age to now be conscious of my health because i feel like the older generations they did a lot of that so i'm happy that um this this year 
I did that like this year I've been so conscious of my health I had a baby seven months ago and I'm still on top of my game like I'm working out back to back like it's nobody's business with my first daughter I didn't work out till she was like what two years or three years if you've been here you will know so i'm really happy that this time around i'm very conscious so that to me is an achievement and then um what did i overcome overcoming oh uh, you know so many things are like very self-developmental stuff that you can't really tell but then you see that you've grown so then you know that you did work on certain things and that to me is something that i, I think i see a lot I, I i can tell for a fact that i've grown in so many aspects of my life and that will just go back to the fact that i worked on so many things this year um so talking about overcoming i really I, you know honestly i can't say anything that i overcame overcame but i know for a fact that i've worked on so many things so that to me is just like overcoming so many things as well you know so yeah and then um what did you finally cross off your to-do list to be consistent on this channel not gonna lie <laughs> consistency is the one thing that has been killing me or that had been killing me but now girl who are you <laughs> i mean like now i'm doing so well plus now it's not like i'm free free i have a baby like i'm an active caregiver you know i have a child who i take care of that alone is like enough work so just like pairing that and then doing this and <laughs> I'll just I'll say when like I get to new year goals but next year is even going to be bigger because I'm going to be doing a lot more things <laughs> so just being consistent on this channel was like a very big thing for me I really wanted to be consistent post videos and aside that I also really wanted to give you guys like valuable content I can't say for a fact if I'm like dead there yet no I'm not obviously but I'm working on giving you guys like value for your time, your money, you know, for your, you pay for your internet provider, you know, so I'm working on giving you guys valuable content. You need to be here for a reason. I don't just want to, and I've said this so many times, I feel like I've said it so many times. I don't just want to be on the internet for no reason, you know, I want to be here for a reason. So just YouTube is like one thing that I had really been working on consistency consistency building that brand for myself and i think that i checked that off my to-do list this year so next year is going to be even nice now we're going to go to what lessons that i've learned this year matter of fact talking about lessons that i've learned this year i did a whole video talking about lessons that this year has taught me or basically lessons that i've learned in my 26 years of life which um also made up the lessons that i learned this year so i'll link that video up here just in case you're interested to hear me talk about my life lessons and how you know this did what and what changed what um but life lessons this year i'll say that i've had major life lessons i went through such a stupid i don't know if it's stupid maybe stupid is not the right word but i went through to me what what i say is a serious friendship heartbreak this year um which was very 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 painful to me um so that was an eye opener in um in in and itself in and on itself you, you get what i'm trying to say sometimes the english is all over the place but yeah <laughs> but i went through such um a hard time with that one guess just getting over that and um learning that people are not always going to be permanent i feel like i just keep moving you in the wrong directions <laughs> people are not always going to be permanent the people that you think will be there forever probably no not probably the people that you think will be there forever may not be there forever um you know so and also it's not only death that takes can take away good people from your life just life circumstances can get you people to go um different ways which is something that i had to learn the hard way this year definitely the hard way this year so i'd say that i'm happy that i went through that because it taught me so many things it opened my eyes on so many levels as well um also another lesson that i learned 
is that people in my circle you know like i mean like i said i shared so many lessons in that video so i'll link it up here um but I, I right now i'm just giving attention and love to the people in my in my, i don't want to say my inner circle but the people who i'm just reciprocating the love that i get okay so i'm seeing the people who are really there for me and i'm gonna be really there for them i don't another thing is that i don't think that i've been such a good friend or i don't think that i don't think that I, I am the best best friend in the world is one thing that my best friend called me out on this year and i think it drew my mind to quite a number of things it's something that my family was okay with like i don't call i don't text my family is okay with that because they know me as oh akusia akusia but this year i learned that translating that kind of relationship into your friendships is not a good thing um not everybody is okay with the no calls no text and 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 yeah that's okay it's okay that people are not okay with it but i'm such a, it's just a thing that i do i'm just such a bad texter and caller i will not call you i'll not text you but best believe that i'm thinking about you best believe that i have your best interest at heart like best believe that i see your social media and then i'm like oh that's my friend but i'm just not calling you like it's nothing like it's just i don't do it <laughs> you know but and like i said I've, i had always been doing it to like my family and they were cool because obviously it's family but you cannot always do it to your friends because some because is you know people are not always you know you get what i'm saying so i one thing that i'm basically what i'm trying to say is that one thing that i learned is that friendship is a two-way thing so you both have to work your ways to making the friendship work um so that's besides the point and also like i said loving the people in my corner and then just appreciating the people who are really really there for me and not like overlooking and looking into people who are not there for me you know sometimes you have some immediate loved ones that you overlook and so i've just i'm just learning to know that i'm gonna love the people who are around me the people who show me love the most you know the people who are there for me i'm gonna be there for them and whatever relationship you have with me is the same relationship i'm gonna have with you tall and shots <laughs> and then the next thing here is your helpers so people basically people who have helped me during this season my immediate people like i said the immediate people in my circle my husband has been so helpful super helpful he's just been the best person overall this year he has just been the best person very supportive everything that i like he's just been the best person this year to me um also my best friend he's been an amazing person as well my sisters i have a tribe of sisters who are like behind my back like and I'm so grateful for them. Like I have a tribe of sisters who are very supportive. Like I have my like my black sister is one of them. And then I have my cousins. And then I have my um sister. She's my sister-in-law, but she's my sister sister, you know. So these people have been so supportive. My dad, oh my goodness, my dad, he watches my channel every single time that I post a video. He's probably gonna watch this. And I love you, Dad. This year, you've been one of the best people in my life. I mean, you always are. But this year, you have been one of the most supportive people when it comes to my channel, to me. Um, my big brother. Look at me. I'm even forgetting. Like, I have so many people who have been so supportive. So, when it comes to helpers, I'm not even going to go into names and, like, who and who. But I know that this year, I've had some really cool people in my corner. And, um... And I'm just grateful to all of them, anybody who helped me this year. Also talking about helpers, I'm going to talk about some apps, some applications on my phone that I've been loving this year that has totally um, been my, you know. First one that I'll talk about is Shop. If you are the type of person that orders stuff online from like different, different platforms, then Shop is going to be the best place for you. I wish this was a sponsored video <laughs> because the way I'm talking about them, also because Shop has been really good to me. It is literally Shop. So the icon is like a purple, it's a purple or mauve. I'm really bad with the colors. I'm really bad with colors. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's 
a icon like that so basically what this app will do is that it collects all your tracking information from every website i don't know how it does it but obviously there's a back end um data thing to it so um what like i said i don't know how it does that but your email address basically your email address that is linked to all of your shopping sites when you put it into shop it takes every tracking number that is linked to that email so say my email address um blah 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 gmail.com and um i could say i've been here at gmail.com so i have my amazon shop linked to that i have my um sephora linked to that i have my affiliate marketing platforms linked to that i have my um brands like pr all my pr comes to my house basically so everything is tracked on shop and like i use one email address for my business so basically everybody or any website that is trying to send me something using my email address automatically picks up on shop i don't even have to input the information nothing you just need to be signed into shop i'm literally doing a whole commercial for them but that's how good this app has been to me this year it literally collects every information from any website say you shop from Shein, fashion nova forever 21 whatever any websites that you shop from as long as it's one email address and you sign into shop you're just there sometimes i'm just there i don't even know that like a brand is sending me something a lot of the times i don't even know sometimes they don't send you the tracking number so you're not able to know when they're sending you something and then i just see that like i get a notification plume like literally like plume. <laughs> so currently um i'll just put a screenshot um a video recording <laughs> on the screen currently i'm expecting three packages from is it three two three i don't know currently i'm expecting it says here three um but i'm expecting three packages <laughs> see that's what i was telling you sometimes i don't even know if i'm expecting three packages or four because shop is gonna give me details that all these other websites are refusing to give us okay so as long as something is sent to you as long as a tracking code is built with or for your email address shop is gonna pick it up so when i come here i see literally everything i see products from amazon octoly um lab line um see the hair people um just a ups fedex everything is here literally everything is here if physicians formula sends me a package as long as it's going to go through a career service it will come on shop and it will just notify me and let me know my next app though my next app that i've been loving this year is netflix don't even come for me the netflix mobile phone app not just regular netflix the mobile phone app she has been my go-to if you've been watching my videos or also if you've been watching my vlogs you know that whenever i'm cooking in the kitchen i'm watching something or listening to music or doing something on my phone <laughs> and that includes netflix i watch netflix a lot i've been watching netflix a lot this year so much <laughs> so many times this year and obviously i've been using my multi ted headphones okay i'll link them down below if you're if you're interested but netflix mobile phone if you don't have the mobile phone app if you just watch netflix on your tv go you're missing out check out the mobile phone version watch your shows on the go in the kitchen you know when you're on the bus that's if you live in a neighbor i don't live in a neighborhood that has buses i don't even know why that's the one thing that i could think about but you know what i'm saying like if you are working out in the gym you see the gym allows you to put your phone and then set up and just netflix my sister netflix <laughs> Netflix. Netflix has been my go-to companion this year. Um, sometimes I'll just watch it in bed when I'm like, it's very early in the morning and I don't want to turn on the TV and if my father is like laying by me, I'll just put on my headphones, put my phone there and then be watching. Netflix has literally been my favorite app this year. I'm not even going to lie. 
it has been it has been one of the best apps that i've had this year <clears throat> And aside Netflix, I do have all the other streaming platforms also on my phone. Oh, my nose is really itchy. To top it all up, Netflix has been my favorite, favorite, favorite when it comes to like watching stuff and just doing stuff for my phone, you know? I've loved it. It's been nice. Been loving it. Great. Love it. And um, now I'm going to go to my new year resolutions the ones that i really want to share with you guys i'm not even going to touch my phone because they just keep coming my new year resolutions they just keep coming so um so when it comes to my new year resolutions when it comes to the channel because you are here let's start with you guys when it comes to here <clears throat> i have realized also not just realized it has been brought to my attention and i've realized i'm speaking like a headmistress but yeah you get what i'm trying to say it's like important to me so listen i've realized that um i put out longer videos even this one is long but we're ending the long videos this year i think that i'm only going to keep the long videos for when i'm doing long form vlogs right now when it comes to my makeup videos sit sit down chit chat you know all of the quick 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 videos i'm gonna make them fast to the point and um basically very educational so it's going to look very tutorial um it's not going to be i don't know how to put it but Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not bringing the long form videos again next year. It's going away. <laughs> it is going away. Another reason is what I've been trying to say since the beginning that I've been, uh, I'm saying it now. I'm starting working next year. Um, it's not like I'm starting working. I'm starting an actual job next year, which requires me to work nine to five. But the good thing is that my job, will be work from home. I'm trying so hard to secure a work from home position because obviously because of it from apart. Also lucky because I really just want to work from home so that I have time to also do YouTube. I feel like when I do nine to five, I would just be too tired. When I come back home, I have to be a mom and cook. I feel like that will wear me out way too much. So I'm trying so hard to get a work from home job, which I'm low key secure and I think fingers crossed i think i'm low-key securing that or i have i don't i i have i have see let me not even say i don't know i have but the thing is i'm trying to look for another one because i'm just trying to look for another one because i'm looking for options because i'm you know because i'm trying to have options so i'm trying to look for another one the first one that i've gotten is really nice not so bad but also i'm just trying to see if i can get another one which will be just a little better I'm just trying to see if I can get another one, which will be just a little better than the one that I have right now. Um, so, um, not so much of a resolution, but just a new development. Next year, we're going to be working, actually working, and it might be working from home, or it will certainly, most certainly will be working from home so that I can be able to still parent. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of my, my videos are not, I don't even know how my weekly vlogs are going to go because I'm going to be working from Monday through to Friday and um, it will require me to obviously work, work. <laughs> so that is how next year is going to be looking like. A lot of the times you guys will see me vlog, but obviously you see me be working and all of that. But also, as part of the resolutions, I really just want to reduce like the length of my videos and give you guys just quality content and like on point. Like what's like what you need is exactly what you're going to get in a video. So <clears throat> that should be coming up. And then also, I'll still be doing my regular uploads two times a week i don't want to say three times because i don't want to fail you guys um another thing is um when it comes to resolutions obviously we're still going to be keeping a lot of things as they are i'm still going to be giving you guys the same content um the most important thing why was i almost forgetting that the weekly vlogs the weekly vlogs 
Don't, 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 don't say anything. I know. I know. I love them too. I love them too. I love them too. But that is the main reason why my videos are long. Like, I'm not even going to lie. That is the one reason why you guys like and i love that i love to watch that on other people's channel but i'm learning so many things about youtube and at this point it just requires me to stop doing that kind of videos okay um if if i mean if you guys okay not even if you guys occasionally obviously i'm still going to be still vlogging you doing la, 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 la. occasionally i'm still going to be vlogging during the week for you guys for weeks when I feel like I have activities or anything that I really want to share with you guys I still will do that but moving forward I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot more daily vlogs um, maybe by by I was gonna say bi-weekly but two days yeah I'm gonna be giving guys daily or two two days in my life you know it's just going to be mostly daily or two days it never will be a week whenever it's a week just know that it's worth watching and um also i'll just work on you know reducing how long my videos are the long form contents i feel like will come when they need to or do come in the future but right now moving on into next year you guys are not going to be getting the full week monday tuesday wednesday thursday that is a lot okay and like i said i like to watch that I really don't have a problem watching that but like I also like I said I'm learning so much about YouTube and currently where I am with my channel I really need to um, do what is needed to be done <laughs> so moving forward that's just a little bit of the change I will come on the channel there's not gonna be weekly vlogs there's gonna be maybe daily or um, maybe the vlogs that you guys will see on sunday will not be a full weekly vlog it will just be a couple of days in the week so it will probably start on monday if i feel like i have an exciting thing to share with you guys on monday i will um and then maybe in the near future when i'm not actually working the night to five i might bring the weekly vlogs around because i will have enough time to edit them see i'm thinking of all those things like editing and you know so many things so just understand if you love my vlogs i know that you guys love my vlogs as well and i love creating them i'm not even going to lie see i love doing my weekly vlogs and <clears throat> and just i just love sharing content with you guys but i have to adjust um the content to suit my life okay and next year because i'm going to be starting an actual job i need to find balance for my actual job and my um, 9 to 5 job my actual job is this one <laughs> and then my 9 to 5 job someone's job so yeah so yeah um and then personal resolutions one thing that i also really want to work on is building work-life balance um finding um time that i know that at five i'm out of this office i'm not coming back in i'm not turning my computer back on i am um not you know struggling to post a photo on instagram thinking of some deadline like i don't want to be working any work at all after 5 p.m i need to be with my family i need to be with my daughter i need to be spending family time you know i want to be done with my kitchen work at 6 6 30 the most done with baby's routine at 6 7 7 30 by 8 we're done with everything um like good to go i don't so this year i have been so tired i'm not even going to lie from just doing stuff and like i i feel like I, it's because i haven't built the proper balance for myself because i'm always like in here and then rushing to go and cook and i don't want to do that again next year i really want to balance myself out so that is also another thing that i'm trying to do the resolution on <laughs> and um also eating healthy i have been so bad at eating healthy this year i'm not even going to lie i've been really good with being conscious so the difference is i'm conscious which means that i know that i'm not eating well and that's what i like because i don't want to not eat well and be comfortable not eating well see what i'm saying some i used to be like that i used to eat any and everything i can eat 
pizza and blah 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 all in one day and not even feel guilty that i'm eating junk but right now i'm very conscious like when i eat junk for a day two i feel like oh you're doing too much you you know you need to come back to reality to me i just the consciousness or like just me being aware is enough for me so make sure i just need to make just you know a little more effort to eat healthy and i feel like i'll be good because right now i am okay with my workouts next year i'll probably go into the gym i'm waiting for my part to go a little you know honestly because you really can't do much with the baby on your hands <clears throat> so um i don't know how that will go but i'm very comfortable working out at home so i that's not even like a problem to me so i'll be working on that and um personal when it comes to personal yes when it comes to work i already talked about that when it comes to family i want to spend more time with my family i want to be more present in like things spending time with her you know <sighs> and then yeah i think that's about it everything else like i said everything else that i haven't mentioned as a res resolution is because some resolutions you're ob obviously supposed to not say but i don't even know what resolution i haven't said at this point because yeah i don't think there's anything that i have that's like private 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 but yeah that's about it i'm so hungry i'm also sort of back on intermittent fasting not back on intermittent fasting like fully back on intermittent fasting but i'm trying to lean out i've realized that <clears throat> i've been working out i've been like trying to eat healthy maybe maybe not and my weight has still been the same for about two months and that to me is a little off because usually i would like drop you know so i i, I don't know and intermittent fasting is the one thing that has really helped me or helped me in the past to lean out really fast so i'm back to doing that i literally started today and so i'm gonna have my first meal of the day <clears throat> that's why i keep doing that because there's literally nothing in my system just water and i have worked out and i know i said that or i know the um there's there's a theory or there's whatever <laughs> i know you're supposed to eat after working out like it's something that you're supposed to do but i want to lean out before i build muscle i want to build muscle without the fat so i'm trying to lean out burn the fat and then i build the muscle <clears throat> I sound very husky, but I'm gonna go into the kitchen and um, reheat some food. <laughs> I made some chicken alfredo yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna go reheat that because I I really don't want to cook anything right now, and I want to get into organizing with you guys. Even though it's been 20 minutes already. Hmm. Wow. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I literally just talked about how I want my videos to be short okay guys so i just made a decision i'm so sorry <laughs> i just made a decision to cut this video into two parts okay i know in the beginning i said i was going to declutter with you guys and then take stock of my life but this video is just going to be the stock taking part so i'll just cut it here um say my goodbye here and then i'll start the declaring video right after this one <laughs> so i'm gonna go away now um <laughs> um and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this one i'm gonna go away now i'll see you guys in my next one okay i love you i'll see you in my next one mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the time of the year